In this video, we are going to simulate the uh, flood using the latest version of Hikonas 6.3. And if uh, you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. First, we have to open our Hikonas software. And then we have to create new project. And then we also have to set the uh, units we are going to use this is default to us units so we have to use our units in metric if we are using metric in our case we are using metric units so we have to change the uh, units and then after that we open the last mapper and we set the projection so you can change the projection using the ArcGIS or any other software and then we load the terrain click the terrain and then right click the terrain then create new rust terrain then we uh, load the project terrain that we are going to use and set this to 1 over 64 1 over 32 I guess is uh, US units so we use the 1 over 64 and uh, let's wait for the loading now that the terrain is loaded uh, first we are going to create the geometries or the uh, storage to the area so we have to click geometries and then right click then add geometry so for example that is to the area or our area then right click uh, edit edit uh, geometry then we click on the to the flow areas yeah, that's it. and then we click the perimeter and then we now click to the area so that we can now add the to the flow area okay and after this We can set the uh, spacing of the to the area to uh, lesser value so that the accuracy is much higher. Okay, so situate that there is no, there are no uh, errors in here. Just want to mesh. And then we can now add also the uh, add break lines. We can also add break lines in our channel. Or the river okay okay so once we have the uh, brake lines for our channel we can also add the inlet and outlet of our model so the inlet would be uh, located in the uh, upstream while the outlet will be located in the uh, downstream so this one is our inlet the upstream or in the bridge where the data were co collected during the events now we add our uh, outlet so this is where the sea or ocean usually name this as outlet then click uh, save edits and then uh, save the project save this uh, rust mapper don't forget to save 
okay so once we already have saved this we now go back to the uh, geometry or geometric data to load the uh, to create geometric data okay so we can also check its uh, connection of the geometries we can reinforce computation okay so save so in the geometric data we have to save or create new geometric data okay so that's it once we have already the uh, geometric data, we also open the edit the unsteady flow so that we can load the flow hydrograph. So in here, we already have loaded the flow hydrograph. And the outlet, we load the normal depth. So we set it to 0 0.01. And then after that, we set the uh, run. So, uh, save the unsteady flow data, then we now ready to run. So, we click run and then set the time. Then we uh, click compute. So we wait uh, until all the uh, data or the uh, iterations are completed. So guys, if you are new to this uh, channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. You can also follow us in our Facebook page. Thank you guys. And uh, if you have questions, you can direct it in the comment section so we can upload uh, the videos which, uh, which details your question okay so we can now check the result uh, we click the rust mapper and let us check the result of the death so that's it so uh, we already have the flood so guys please don't forget to subscribe